So today is Friday. This fan blade's got a crack in it. No big deal, Jeff. Now it's got a real big crack in it. I got three Aon units down, and I have three PTAC units down. Come along, shall we? What's going on, guys? Jeff, the maintenance man here. Woo! Let's get started. I got a PTAC unit making a hell of a racket. We're going to steer it in the right direction with this here fan blade that I'm going to put on it. So let's go grab that unit, get her out of there, get her in the parking lot. Let's make a video. Yeah, boy. Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man right here. The PTAC in question. I think it's got a broke fan blade because it sounds like oh, shit. Let's find out, shall we? I was doing this job as far as that. Get my Jew. does have a broken blade we're taking her out what is it doing it does not have a broken blade this thing was making a hell of a racket a while ago see that broken fan blade shroud maybe no, solid Something was making, see, something's been rubbing, that, that fan's been rubbing. It's not got our damn problem. This is not our damn problem. This thing was making a shit load of racket, guys. Not even what, what was in it. And it's spinning fine now. It's Probably over tightened. This is something I have to deal with all the time. You you hear things, and if you're on call, you definitely don't want this to be something that you have to come out to do. Messing around with the P Tech tackies. Let's see. As you over tighten these, sometime. Um, just gotta. Keep a small, keep a small gap. Don't over tighten this. Just till the seal meets or seats with the thing, because it, it it will compress the unit inward like this, and then you'll have the fan blade going or the blower motor. It could be the blower motor. This thing was making a heck of a rocket though, just a while ago. So I decided to come on over here and, and and check it out. But it's on um remote thermostat here. And it's on a five minute delay built into the unit. Not only is there Yeah, he was running heat. 76, so let's turn it up a little bit, just see. There we go. And we get that, that fan to come back on. There it goes. Well, now it's humming. Nope, oh, there it is. Yeah, 
We're just gonna replace that fan. It's out of balance somehow. Maybe a chip came off of it, whatever. This thing is definitely just bad. It could be that it's still over there. Still over time. I mean, well, there we go. And that's the point of the Yeah. Turn off. Hello. Your heater's not working that good. It's loud. I'm probably gonna have to probably gonna have to take it take it out and then um, uh, replace the fan. I think it's the fan on it. I heard it from all the way outside. You could hear it like echoing over there. <laughs> uh, well. No need to delay, so we'll we'll take it out. Okay, so I brought the gentleman's uh, PTAC unit back here to the shop. Reason being, I was gonna go outside, I was gonna give it a rinse down. I'll do that later, but off camera. Um, it's just like people won't leave me to damn. They won't leave me alone, man. If they see me out there working, so I got I got to be in here all top secret and shit. Um, right here, there's some screws, guys. A quarter inch screws and I'm gonna be using this little thing to get around the cap tubes and the reversing valve here there's another one on the bottom you gotta kind of get up underneath there so you need a very um, long extension to get to those two but then there's two here two here and just real easy access to here two here ah, well I didn't two here and then two here right right here and then you don't have to really remove the fan blade or anything you can just fold this whole assembly up you'll see that in a second let's go ahead and take this thing apart real quick okay i'm gonna have to be doing about 36 of these to put on these stupid heat shield things for uh, a recall i'll probably still get interrupted guys believe it or not behind a locked door I'll still get interrupted. So let's take out that bottom screw that's a uh, real pain in the butt right there. I can't, well, that compressor's hot. And believe it or not, this thing was running in heat. heat. All right, so now I gotta take out that, that, uh, Little screw there. Look at that. In the mix. Take that screw out. Put your hands back there. I'm just gonna put the screws up here on top. Alright. Those are the two hardest screws to do. These you don't really need the extension, but you know, what what why not? <laughs> You don't need the extension either. Just take them out. A quarter inch. Or flathead. And the ones on the top. One on the top here. We're gonna take those out. You sack of crap. Beating y'all all the hell and back. Look at that. Take those little stubbies out. Alright, so here comes the fun part. I'm gonna set y'all back up here. Um, there we go. Alright, this whole plastic shroud. I did want y'all to see this, but pull forward on it. Pull forward, bend these up. Don't worry, they'll bend back down. They have to fit in a in a slot. 
don't do that too much or you'll break the whole thing off all right now the whole fan shroud should should lift off here we'll see let's give this a shot there you go lifts up like this and you can flip it up just like that on top of the unit a lot of people are like protect the coil uh, it's not gonna i oh, screw all that man it's not gonna this might not even work i don't know but this fan blade definitely has gouged the crap oh, y'all are upside down crap out of this thing right here whap, 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 whap. this has been hitting it so let's just uh change the fan blade see if that helped um and we'll and we'll um check this motor too let's uh, see make sure it's fastened to the fan shroud properly uh, but since i already have a fan shroud um We'll be using that. All right, just did cable television. So, get some HDMI cable. All right, there's my 5 16 bit. I'm gonna need, um, well, apparently not. My screwdriver, 11 and one. Loosen up that screw there. They're usually not on there that tight. No biggie, no big deal. Take that off, put it in your pile of screws. And <laughs> look at that, the fan just pulls right off. What's so funny is that right here, it's worn down on this fan edge blade here. It's just, this fan blade looks normal. I mean, it's not that different than what I'm about to put on there. I mean, hopefully, there's not something, I don't know. That's pretty solidly fi affixed to there. It could be a wobbling shaft, but it's not. I don't feel any wobble in it from any direction. The spin seems normal. It's not cutting out on thermal. Let's just change the fan blade and see, guys. I mean, that's uh, all you can do. It's our fan blade right here. There's a little flat side right there. We're just going to match it up with the flat side on the shaft there. All right, so that's our flat side. Hold on, guys. It's, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Oh, you know what? I'm doing this. Y'all can probably just see just fine if I, if I did this. There we go. So, well, maybe not just fine, but I gotta get this out of the way of those prongs there. Here we go. mess with the maintenance man he knows how to set up shit he knows how to rig some stuff so. anyway so flat sides right there flat side for me is right there pretty much will only go on one way and get my little 5 16 nut on there it looked like they cut the blade size down a little bit if I had to guess if not, then that wasn't smart. Mm. Hold on. That's not... Huh. It looks pretty damn well balanced. I mean, it's how... It's only hitting that... That thing right there because... Not, well, it's not in the... Right spot where it's supposed to be. Ah. All right, um, where's my screwdriver? Uh oh, where did I put the screwdriver? 
Leave it to Jeff to... Oh, it fell. That's right. When I fan. There you go. It fell down here somewhere. That's fine. I just need to torque this down just a little bit. I don't need all that. All that bucketry. Shit. This will probably tighten it down more than the screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, let's give her a spin here. Let's just test her one more time. Let's put her on top of the compressor here. I don't see a way that's going to be hitting. Any way that's going to be hitting the, uh, the thing there so all right so just set it on top of the quill here and flip these back just a little bit more hey guys just want to narrate real quick if you look and see the fan shroud is totally encapsulating the motor this is causing excessive heat it's starting to burn the plastic around it because the motor has no real cooling to it so just wanted to put that in there um, for a couple yeah. seconds, guys. There we go. Just gonna set that back down on there. It just sits there. It really does. It just sits there. And you're gonna line up these uh these screw these screw holes. And there's my screwdriver. I was missing. Line it up. Second verse, same as the first. They're already lined up. It just literally sits there. You don't even have to tighten them at all. That's a flat one. That's a flat one. That's going to go with that. So. And if you do not replace all these screws, I mean, you just want to barely tap that like no over tightening of those screws you you crack them the screws will let loose that fan will vibrate and that fan will tear that coil into pieces I've seen it done before it's not the first rodeo well I can't even use this what am I doing I have to use <clears throat> use this uh, once I'm done with this guys I'm just doing a fan replacement video right now uh, once I'm done with this I am going to take it outside and uh, uh, wash it down a little bit uh, so don't think I'm just gonna leave it like this I mean if you've already gone through the trouble of taking this thing all the way down that hallway it's the hardest part getting the getting the screws back in the holes there we go that's why this thing from harbor freight or cobalt or whatever comes in handy you can you can get some angles on some things right, so we got another screw here this is the hardest one because of where it's located so Usually the best thing to do is just get your hands in there. Stick it in a hole. Get it started. Then get your tool in there. I know that sounds sexual. I know y'all giggling. Okay, get get your damn tool on there. There we go. There we go just tight enough she's in there solid I did forget one little thing but alright alright there we go so a critical thing to do um, when these are up in the uh, air like that bend them back down pull back ever so slightly on the coil the whole coil assembly and you're gonna have to do that and get both of these in at the same time 
and you can just tighten them down like a normal little bra. You can use a screwdriver or whatnot. Don't matter. But all these bolts or nuts or screws or whatever needs to be put back to the way they were. If you don't, I learned the hard way. I mean, I'm not going to, I did destroy a PTAC unit by not doing that. And I've also learned to check the, um, the fan balance and stuff. So let's turn this uh, unit on. I'm going to turn it on manual. I am still lucky enough to have a 208 volt. Like that. Now oh, that's full of water. That's going to be nice when I plug it in. But 208 volt outlet right here. It's going to show us on here in a second. Here we go. But we don't want on. Um, it's not going to come on. Hold on. Y'all remember the menus? Alright, here we go. Oh, it's double off, ain't it? <laughs> huh. Hold down up an arrow. Double click off. Hit heat. Use the arrows till you go to zero. Click off again. Now you're in manual controls. So. Let's turn it on. I want compressor. I want everything. I know the heat works, but. I need a compressor to come on. Um, five minute built in delay. Or sometimes it comes on. And sometimes it don't. They're, they're weird little units. They really are. They're kind of like miniature Aeon units. And. Oh shit. That thing did come on. Wow. I, would, I, I have to replace this. These little two tabs right here just fell apart. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I do that? I think I did. Just fucking with this damn. Alright, hold on. Ugh. Let's see if I got another one here. I try to I try to keep those. People don't know what they are, so they get thrown away. Which is kind of fucking retarded. But now I have none. If somebody saw them, they got sprawled all over the freaking office. All over. Oh, no, no, there we go. There we go, I got one. I got one. Just shut up. Shut up, Jeffrey. Alright, well, shit. Here. We'll just kill the power for a second. Clear that code out while I put this, uh, this little thermistor on there. Because without it, this thing is definitely not going to work. If you unplug this thing or it's not working or whatever. Oh, crap, dude. I try to save as many of these transistors things as I, I can I can get. Man, good lord, dude. Because this tells the indoor air temperature coil thing and all that. So, um, you guys want to come along. Right here is where it was plugged into. It goes on the coil like that. It just goes right around and it plugs in right there. Just like that. And the front grate goes right on top of it. So, all right, let's turn it back on. Let's see if we get any error codes or anything. clicking that's not good right off the bat okay cool man we want cool we want heat so there it goes listen to that thing hop listen to that reversing valve reverse look at the baby go that's what I'm talking about so I don't know that guys <laughs> Replace the dang fan. Out of balance, out of warp, out of something. Oh, there you go. That's why. There it is right there. There's a crack in it. Small little crack. Look at that. It was about to go. So, see, I'm trying to crack it right now, but 
there there's a crack in the fan blade it's gonna obviously this is the one that's shaving its shit off so it's obviously unbalanced itself and that small crack uh, caused this it's a heat strip oh yeah nice cool air look at that thing vibrating though man they should have done something different man with this uh mounting system for uh man uh, no, I, I don't knock i'm not knocking y'all i'm not knocking y'all at all but maybe a better a better uh mounting system for the fan uh definitely would go with a better mounting system for the fan not this plastic crap a uh, plastic fan blades fine you know whatever but I don't know this thing's putting out some weird smell now maybe that maybe that outlet's smoking it shouldn't be it's running better than it's ever ran before Oh, it's expelling heat. It's vibrating a little bit. That that motor. Yeah, I think we're gonna have continued problems with this. No matter what. Once it's mounted in there, it's probably it'll probably be better, but at vibrating because it, it has things around it but i don't i don't know guys anyway i changed a uh fan done it 100 times before this is one of the rarest videos that you can ever get it's because i always get interrupted the resident is there my boss is with me uh, another maintenance guy is with me a resident a nurse somebody is with me so finally I just had to drag this out of his apartment. Usually I do this right in the apartment, uh, but I want to make a video for you guys. And I also wanted to say thanks for liking, obviously, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, when I go live, if you haven't rung that bell, you all won't know when I get a video. You won't know when I get live because you didn't ring the dang bell. So if you didn't ring the bell, and I don't go live like every dang day, and I don't release a video every dang day. So go ahead and ring the bell. It's not gonna hurt anything. Until then, guys, stay safe. And as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. Drops out. Yeah.